Two of the most epic grand adventures in the Super Nintendo library are going head to head in what's sure to be an incredibly tough debate. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which one of these all-time greats moves forward. It's The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, versus Chrono Trigger on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Uh, look, we're at it, boys. One of the most iconic games, one of the two of the most iconic games, honestly. We can't just say two. one. Two! Two! Uh, what two? I think we need Seth to do McGonagall. Uh, uh, Alright, here we go. Zelda, Link to the Past, versus Chrono Trigger. Just having, visuals. Is there, is there an intro they might want to say? We just want to get to it. Hit the hit the visuals. It's a it is a real clash of the titans, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we've got the two best action adventure slash maybe RPG, you know, kind of sorta. You know, we're we're gonna be careful now. There's there's anime looking people with swords. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, these two games are just pinnacles. They're like both of these games are genre defining. Whatever genre you want them to be a part of. YouTube, they are defining for those genres. I mean, you've got Chrono Trigger, one of the most beloved cult classics as far as JRPGs are concerned. And then you have A Link to the Past, Legend of Zelda, who some people might say is the best Legend of Zelda game out there. Which one is better? Well, we can't give you an objective answer of that, but we will give you a subjective answer for that. Those are big words. Visually. Who's ready to go to visuals? Visually, visually. And Brandon's telling, yeah. Um, I think this one hits you the most out of all three of us. Look, I'm going to say this. Just because of your, your tie. I'm trying to, not to cry right It's there. not <laughs> easy. It is not easy at all to say this, but i got to go with Chrono Trigger for visuals. I am, Chrono Trigger's got some fantastic visuals. I am kind of with you on that a little bit. I mean, it's just some of the artwork. I mean, Akira Toriyama is just, you know, everything he... Everything they draw, God, my heart feels like it's about to beat. Everything out of my he draws chest. is just oh, chest kiss. kiss, and it's yeah. just really well designed too. I mean, the visuals, the cinematics, and everything. You know, I just I love it. You know, it's really, really, really great, really great, really great. Both of you, wait, you're both done already. Chrono Trigger, uh, uh, Jacob, are you done? I, I, I'm done. yeah, I'm sitting here looking at the back of the box art, uh, as if it's I know, me too. Well, I'm trying to refresh myself because I have no, not played this one at all. Well, hold on, guys. Let's talk about not only how it looks visually, but how is it presented, to, presented you. to you. Yeah. How is it presented to you? It is pre presented. Look, I, so I'm going to be honest, okay? The Legend of Zelda is presented one way, and it's done really well, but that's it. It's one way. You know, I feel like what really sets Chrono Trigger apart visually from A Link to the Past is just the the ways that it presents itself. I mean, it's just it, there's there's cinematics, aren't there? There's, Not the Super Nintendo version, no. I mean, there's cinematics like shoot, like on field, but yeah, like you yeah, don't yeah. you don't get those like those actual animated no. cutscenes. No, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, I knew so the didn't get frog. that. Cutting the mountain. Yeah, yeah. So frog cutting that. the mountain that happens, right? Uh, in front cutscene, of you, but I see what Steve's trying to say. As yeah. as time goes on, yeah, they did put those like, FMVs in there. And I'll be we'll honest, say epic moments. My, I'll be honest. You know, I've played a link to the past all the way through, and I've only played like certain. I've only played up to a certain point of Chrono Trigger, but I can tell you right now, visually, what I've seen on the Super Nintendo version of Chrono Trigger is just it's really good. It really it's really well done in my opinion, and it's just it's not even that. It's. It, I mean, it's difficult to say that one's better than the other in this case. I would be willing to say that Chrono Trigger takes a gamble on changing. Yes. The angles. Of, yes. Of which, so like, when you play Zelda, it's consistently top down. Yeah. Yes. And with Chrono Trigger, there's sections that is left to right, and you're fighting bad guys on the field left to right. We talked about the presentation of Chrono Trigger from a standpoint of. Yeah, it's an RPG, and Zelda is more of an action adventure, action adventure. but Chrono Trigger really did something cool with uh, its visuals, and this can be a visual and mechanical thing, on how you see a bad guy on the field, and you just kind of are on, you're on the field. There's the no field. Yeah. It doesn't take you no to a battle into, screen yeah. where you're no on arena. a static area. It's like, yeah. the, in, in some cases, the environment would prohibit your strategy a little bit, yeah. and that kind of plays into the presentation a little bit because of how you're going to approach the battles because of your visuals, I guess. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'll vote for Chrono Trigger I'm, as well. Kinda... I do think that Chrono Trigger has more expressive sprite work. 
uh, you know, Link does have expression, but it's not nearly as much as right. it is in Chrono Trigger. One hundred percent agree. I feel like there's more pixel animations in in, in the, that in Chrono Trigger than there is. Yeah, in maybe there. a little bit more creativity with mm-hmm. what they've got going on, like when you, you know using some Mode Seven graphics. Yeah. Um, um, what they do with parallaxing and stuff, I, I think maybe Chrono yeah. Trigger takes it a little bit from a visual standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, audio? Audio. I'm gonna say Zelda. I'm gonna say Zelda, and, and the only reason I'm gonna say Zelda is, and, and, and man, like the audio on both is very, very well done. Music on both is fantastic, and the sound effects are really well done. I give Zelda the nod because when you show somebody music from Zelda, from especially from this one, because this is one where like all the iconic music came from. I agree. Zelda's Lullaby, um, the Overworld theme, Kagariko Village. All that stuff, all those staples Ugh. of not just of the series, but of <laughs> video gaming as a whole. If you took John Q. Public off on the street and you showed the music from both, uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to recognize the Legend of Zelda's. Yeah. And so, and 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 it's not just that though. It's not just that though that really stands out to me as far as the the audio. I think that I halfway agree with that last statement. I think that Zelda's got a lot of. A lot of you know masterpieces as far as the music is concerned. It's another Stephen guy certified banger. Okay, take a shot. Bangers, man. I mean, it's just you know just the rain theme. The very the very opening scene. You ain't even gotten into the game yet at this point. Okay, that opening scene where it tells you the backstory of the tri uh, of the Triforce and the war um, the war of the Dark World and things like that. The Ceiling War. Thank you. Brain for working. I like, what I do. Um, <laughs> I, th- I I agree with just about everything you're saying. All that music is just. But I'm gonna vote for Chrono Trigger because I feel like it takes way more advantage of the hardware of the Super Nintendo, pushes it to the limit. I think there's a lot of songs in Zelda that have shorter loops. We've talked about that before mm-hmm. uh, on the NES one, and we talked about how it was better on Link to the Past. Uh, but there are. Um, a lot of I, I don't want to say reused songs, um, but I think this is one of those ones. I'm thinking about listening to both of these on a playlist. Which one am I skipping more tracks yeah, yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm skipping more tracks on Zelda. Really? Um, that's that's actually surprising. To hear Chrono you say. Trigger, dude. Chrono Trigger, almost from start to finish on its soundtrack, yeah. is ten out of ten all the way through. But I think Link to the Past has a couple where I'm like, ugh, like uh, the Fortune Teller song. Yeah, I don't like the that one's just one. not good. But and and look, I'm nitpicking. I am nitpicking here. I'm trying to find a reason to vote for one of these over the other. But let's talk about sound effects and how they're applied within the game as well. Yeah. I think Chrono Trigger takes that every time Frog speaks, the little froggy noise, yeah. the sound effects in the battle, yeah. uh, and, and Zelda does have incredible sound effects. Like when you pull the Master Sword, the pendants go out, mm-hmm. and that that song plays. The the spin around with the sword. Whoosh-ching! That sounds really great, but like getting a critical hit with any character changes the sound versus a regular hit with that uh, on Chrono Trigger. Um, I think Chrono Trigger is the audio winner for me okay. as well. Jacob? It's time. I, I, I just can't. I can't. I hate to Fair take enough. the cop out on it, but I can't. I can't land on one or the other. Um, just between everything that's been said. I don't know. It's just kind of a default. God, does, anyone, does, anyone, does anyone feel like a tense feeling in the air right now? A little bit, yeah. yeah. All right, it feels tense. heavy in here right now. This is the Am one. I having an anxiety attack? Welcome to uh, yeah, where I was at. Oh, man, I don't yeah. like this. All right. Mechanics. Mechanics. Okay, this is a big, the biggest difference here. One is a JRPG. One is an action-adventure RPG, whatever. Um, yes, this one's completely up to your preference, I suppose, but... I had I had Zelda down for this one. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it though. Um, That's I, fair. I was gonna I, I kind of went back and forth. I was gonna say to tie, but the more I think about it, I think a link to the past some mechanics um, are just a lot cleaner. I mean, look, I love me a good turn-based RPG. I do, but at the end of the day, I do think that 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 more engaging um, action adventure type battle is a little bit better in my opinion um it's just continuing the same strategy that every other zelda game before it has had with the exception of zelda 2 but um i'm going to 
give this a tie. Mm-hmm. I, was, I almost gave it a tie. I'm giving it a tie, and I'm going to say there's one thing that I feel like Chrono Trigger does a lot better than Zelda, and I feel that is it rewards you not only in the way of I items, with that. not only in the way of items, but other ways too, for for having the initiative to seek out certain things. Yeah. There's nothing I feel like that you you never feel like you wasted your time. Not that you do in Zelda. You, like everything you do feels rewarded in Chrono Trigger. Like it's still like, hey, there's a cave over there. Maybe we go, go check it out once we get this certain item or whatever. And you go back. Everything you feel rewarded for, whether it's from a narrative perspective or from you know an item perspective, and you got a new item. And I think Zelda does the same thing by having you explore and getting extra items. Like there's items in Zelda that you can complete the whole game and not get. Uh, like the ice rod. Right. Or um, the cape. Right. Or one of those canes. One of them. Uh, you can actually complete the whole game and not... Or the medallions. You can actually... Or I think... Do you have to get all the medallions? I can't remember. But what I'm trying to say is there are optional areas in Zelda. I just feel like Chrono Trigger does it just a tiny bit better. But I'm drawing. Yeah. I'm saying a draw. <sighs> because, you sure? You seem, you seem like you're more in favor of Chrono Trigger. You sure you don't want to call it for Chrono Trigger? And I'm going to draw it. I think Because okay. I think Zelda... Link to the Past is one of the best Zelda games ever made, and I think Chrono Trigger is one of the best JRPGs ever made, if not the best JRPG ever made. Yeah. And uh, can't, I can't, I can't, can't do it. Can't Jacob, do it. can't do it. Can't do it. It's it's doing it's doing one of those things where I've got to go into the bias a, a little bit, and it's just I just didn't have, and still to this day don't have that affinity for. JRPGs as much as I do. That's fair. But I can't, and so what I'm saying is I'm leaning towards more towards Link to the past um, mechanically. But it, it's not taken away from, you know, everybody else that loves that game and loves those kind of that, those little turn-based RPG genres. Like this, like Brandon said, I mean, you summed it up perfectly. Like everyone thinks that Link to the Past is probably one of the best video games ever made. Everybody thinks that Chrono Trigger is probably one of the best RPGs ever made. Um, God, I can't. I yeah, love I God love the way I, like you pick. said like just like the present that kind of that's a presentation thing for you for me that's a mechanical thing you know the thing that where you don't zoom in you know like every Final Fantasy before that you know you always you have the encounter, right, right, right. right and then you have the battle scene you know I was waiting for it the first time I picked this up you know it was like all right we're, oh we're fighting okay cool uh, all right I can move on the field all right uh, cool and you know and then the team up attacks but. I just feel like I, I won't. I don't want to sound like I'm trying to bash Zelda by saying this, but I do think there's more of a variety in Chrono Trigger. That's fair. That's the thing. As far yeah. as like your every your your day, your moment to moment activity action. Yeah, that's that's kind of right. Right. It it, it didn't appease as far as combat. As a kid, as far as combat is concerned. Right. But you as, get a little bit more strategy and variety with the party members right and that and that, but as an adult that loves video games and loves critiquing them like it just has like it's just a lot more special than Zelda but at the end of the day it's just like I don't know if I want to go back and play Chrono Trigger in that Sometimes. because I just enjoy the combat in Zelda that much the ability to I just I, Sometimes I, I, the more advanced combat and stuff like that can be tedious and, and, and it feels like you have to do a lot of um a lot of thinking, which 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 is a good thing, but yeah. sometimes too much of it can be a bad thing. So I, I, and I'm not necessarily I saying that I, draw, I still think it's a draw. No, that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not saying that I agree with that statement, but I'm saying that could be. Is that maybe your mindset behind it? Maybe. Wait, Wait, is this yeah. like a defense of Zelda? You're saying? No, I'm saying or, Zelda. I think uh, I'm no, that's what I'm Zelda. saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. It, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just, a, it's 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 kind of like that. It's like. I think that's what it's coming down to. This is a really terrible cop out, and it's not really a professional like critiquing attitude. But like, I'm kind of a draw for these, so it just comes down to like, what does Jacob want to play more? I just want to play Zelda more when it comes to combat. Yeah, and that's fair. That's just kind of fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Narrative. I can't. I I went back and forth with this one, and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take a little cop out here. You know, I I have no doubt that Chrono Trigger is an amazing story, and that's really really good. But man. That opening scene of Zelda where it just kind of sets the stage based on the ceiling war. Then your uncle goes out, you know, your uncle's like, hey, I, I have to go to the castle. I gotta check on something. And then you basically take up your uncle's sword and go rescue the princess in, in his stead. Then you have to basically rescue all of Hyrule. And I know people say, you know, it's it's overdone. It's the same old, same old, um, almost that Star Wars, same old, same old Zelda story. But 
you know, I really liked how it fleshed out a Zelda story in comparison to the way that it was done in the previous Zelda entries because you were just devoid of any context in those. And I think that now there was a lot of context, like, you know, you have to save... But you also have some direct storytelling with Zelda. With, exactly. Uh, like, literally, people just telling you where to go, opening exactly. up the map, doing a little bit of environmental searching, finding the different dungeons, doing them kind of in the order that it wants you to do it in. Yeah. Because um, whenever you first get to the Dark World, it's like, ah, go get the crystals. And then you open up your map, it's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um, I would be willing to say that... Chrono Trigger has the better narrative here, and the reason I say that is because every single character, every single one of them is interesting in their own way. I had just mentioned earlier about how if you have the, the agency to go, and the initiative to go forward and play as all the, do all the different side quests, you're rewarded with yeah. some incredible kind of storytelling for all the characters. Because um, like, you can play the whole game and not do the side quest that involves Luca's side story. Uh, and you'd be like, oh, Luca's just kind of a boring character. She just fixes robots. But then if you do that side quest, you realize why um, why she's the way she is. And I don't want to spoil it because it's an incredible story. Yeah. Uh, but also Frog uh, going in. There's one There's one side quest for him where it's like, essentially, it's just a, a gauntlet going and fighting all these bad guys yeah, in this ghostly I, tower. I this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not that. You're laying the souls of the damned to rest. And it's you're, you're basically allowing people to, to have their final rest instead of them being, you know, cursed to be damned, essentially. Yeah. Um, or, like, dude, this is one incredible side quest with Robo. Robo every every single character. Robo, every yeah. single one of them. And there's even characters that you can and can't get. Spoiler alert, we've talked about it before. You can finish the game and without Chrono. You can finish the game without... Um, spoiler alert. I, don't wanna, I, didn't, I didn't want to tell you this. Uh, Magus. You can, you can get Magus on your team. Or... There's a part in the game where huh. you, like, okay, major spoiler alert. Magus is basically, I'm not going to say why, is blamed for Chrono's death. Right. And you get to pick, like, if you have Frog in your team, you get different dialogue, and you get to pick and choose whether you kill him or not. You're like, screw you, you got my friend killed. Right, you can kill yeah. Him. I'm getting goosebumps. But, or you can say, no. Okay, I'm I saying, I'm not, saying my it's, vote. I went back say, to Chrono Trigger. Or you can say, no, it's, you're not worth it. And then he ends up joining your party. He can be a party member. Yeah. And guess okay. what? You can make him the lead of your party. Yeah. And what's even more interesting is that his combat style reflects the narrative. I'm getting goosebumps again. His um, his his narrative, um, his story, right? So, like, basically, he do, he's the only character that does not have double and triple text with anyone else because he doesn't care. He's he's not your friend. Yeah. He's just there. He's, just he's there. like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm an a-hole. And I, I do have a really cool move I can do, but I'm not going to do it with y'all. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so there, there's just a lot going. And, and in the world, things you're doing, I mean, with the whole time travel thing, do something in the past, reflects the future. Um, yeah. But all of it feels necessary. None of it feels like, go kill these boars and bring me their skin. Here's a potion. It's There's right. always something really awesome at the end of the rainbow in this game. Yeah. Not that it isn't with Zelda. That's not what I'm saying. You've convinced me. But I think with Zelda, it's just kind of like, oh, cool, got a new item. Yeah. And here, okay, you in, in here you're learning about the characters. You're learning about the world. Um, and there's a lot of a lot of storytelling that you can miss if you, if you don't if you don't seek it out. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and none of it that. none of it is like straight in front of you or is it the game is designed in a way where you can find it all i mean yeah a guide is necessary because i guess this is also a point in his favor there's like a dozen different endings in this game that's and, that's the thing I, that was that was my uh chip that you already so elegantly posted or placed uh, placed out there on the table with with the the characters that's kind of the deciding factor for me i've i, I, I the I, story of zelda is great and the, the deception of the kingdom and then the, the lights and the darks uh which is i guess that's kind of more of a mechanic thing but the story behind that and the but like i like i said getting to know these characters and this is this is kind of what made me love have that i guess Subconscious love for RPGs into the future. I have was getting to know the party members. I and, have a point that's undeniable as Fantasy far as the story and somewhat mechanically. I have. How many of you have played an RPG where you're like, ah, I'm never using that character? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Chrono Trigger. I get aggravated because I don't know who I want to bring. Pick. You can only pick three, and right. they're all great. Yeah. They're that's all great. None of them are annoying. All of them have cool powers. And yeah. All of their powers are reflected in the story. Right. I guess I made my point. Yeah. I have to go. With, I have to go. With Chrono Trigger for me. Um. All right. 
And then we're getting to the we're getting to the meat and potatoes, boys. Yep. What does what stands the test of time? And I can't. The tie. I can't. The I'd be to willing to say um, the only thing about Zelda that I feel would be um, a negative for people is if you don't like the top downs. That's the only thing. Like if you prefer yeah. 3D Zeldas, um, then maybe you don't like it. But I mean. Length of the Past. Let me ask it's you like this. It's one of the best Zelda games ever, if not the one of the, the best games of all time. And, and Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger certainly, no pun intended, stands the test of time because it is, to this day, one of the most expertly crafted JRPGs. There's no filler, there's no padding. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, It's yes. 100% just from start to finish goodness. Yeah. Goodness. Uh, and so is so is Zelda. So is Zelda. There's not a lot in there that's filler. Uh, I'd, I'd be willing to agree on a draw on this one. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If you're going to replay Chrono Trigger, where are you going to replay it on? Uh, I mean, you can... Me, personally? What would you prefer? Me? Uh... What do you think the overwhelming majority of people would prefer? Oh, that's... I don't think there would be an overwhelming majority. I think it's just where you can, where can you get it? Because yeah, number one, you if you it? didn't have it as a kid, it's extremely hard to find. I, in my, in my, in my personal... So you have to emulate it. Well, I mean, you can buy so it. You, buy, you can buy it on your phone right now. Yeah, well, it, it, I say yeah. emulate it as in on your phone. Oh, not, yeah. on, not on a Nintendo. Yeah, but, it, but okay, let's say you have access to all of them. Like my own Steam. Where are you going? Me? If you Personally, have access to all of them. I can't answer the who, like... Oh, Lord, like which one am I picking up? I can't answer who... It depends on what mood I'm in. I can't answer like the majority question, but I can answer personally probably the DS. I like the DS the version. DS version. And See, the only reason I like the DS version is because, yeah, you can bring them on the go, uh, but also it does have the cutscenes and it has an extra ending, and it has Chrono has uh, an extra ending on, on DS. DS, yeah, huh. uh, that connects it to Chrono Cross. Uh, uh, in the context of this, I'm tempted, yeah. but I, I don't think I'm going to. I'm tempted to use that against. Um, anything in here because to me standing the test of time would mean like if i'm gonna pick it up in its intent in its original form right then and there with no improvements because for it to for, for me to give it a point <coughs> towards it God bless you. well I don't, I don't know because i mean i don't want you to take what i'm saying out of context i don't think no, I, I don't i don't i'm not saying I, if i had to pick one that's just the one i'd pick because it's just convenience at that point but there's nothing wrong with the Super Nintendo version. And that's that's fair. And that's I think that's why I'm sticking with a tie, because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, just because I'm, I'm saying, a preferable yeah, I'm saying, version. I'm saying a tie. Revolutionary. Yeah, it's a tie. Revolutionary. Um, I don't really know how I feel. I, I kind of... I'm going to go with Chrono Trigger as a revolutionary, because of the, the mechanics as far as, you know... Um, the different um, the different styles. It's funny. I gave I gave the link to the past and mechanics, um, but I'm giving the revolutionary to Chrono Trigger because of the the party system and, and the different combinations of yeah. you know attacks that could be used together. I felt like that's pretty unique. Um, yeah. Neither one of them are particularly revolutionary because for one, Legend of Zelda is continuing what they did in the first one. Um, and then, and Chrono Trigger is a JRPG turn-based game, you know. Would you be willing to say that Ocarina of Time is more revolutionary than Link to the Past? Without a doubt. Do you think so? Without a doubt. Without a shred of I, doubt. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm agreeing with that. Without a shred of doubt. I'm not saying that as a way to sway anything at all, but I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm trying to find a reason. It's, this is tough. My, my knee-jerk is, is, is... I'm saying it's a tie because neither one of them are particularly revolutionary. My knee-jerk is, is Chrono. Mm. I don't know, man. Chrono Trigger's pretty dang revolutionary. Yeah, with the fact uh, that yeah, the fact I take that back. I'm sorry. Can die, you, stay, you can stick with him. You can, Chrono go Trigger. Out. you can go straight to the boss. Because who's killed to. a main character oh, like that? Yeah. You I mean, they, they killed main character, not like the actual lead the protagonist. Lead, right. He didn't necessarily have to be the, prota the, the protagonist. You can you can, you can can go straight to Lava. Oh, I'm, how about can, New Game Plus? Yeah, New Game Plus. I'm, I'm pretty sure Chrono Trigger invented New Game Plus. Yeah, I'm going to go with Chrono Trigger. That was revolutionary right there. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, now. Oof. This one's easy. Yeah, what's best representative of the console? Only go to pass. I mean, you, I mean, you have to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I agree. It's, I mean, it's, it's got first-party first, party, first party bias. bias. You it know, sucks. And, 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 yeah, I agree. Just, I agree. And uh, again, and, and, and this is where, this is where the, the different ports. 
Okay, we gotta vote. This is where the different ports really Steve, negatively. Um, you go you know, first. Razor, right. razor thin margin, oh, really difficult for me to choose. Don't make me. You know, I really want to give Chrono Trigger more love than I did. I really want to play it more, but it's just it's just difficult for me to. Um, it's a great game, fantastic game, ten out of ten. But so is Link to the Past, and in my opinion, Link to the Past is just one of those games that are just you know they should be heralded in the gaming hall of fame as one of the best games of all time so you know with that being said link to the past i'm voting for link to the past you want to flip a coin <laughs> we could <laughs> the, the people people would be oh you get some comments i'm trying to read your mind right now i mean don't, we're don't, gonna, don't say nothing we may okay? get comments because both of these games are well loved by wide audiences that are very passionate about what the, about these games Either way, so I apologize if I upset anybody with my vote, but A Link to the Past just has a place that's near and dear to my heart, man. And I, and, and I know I want to be as objective as possible, but, you know. How you felt earlier with Star Fox yeah. making making uh, the vote. That's how I feel. Yeah, I know. I know, it sucks. It, 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 and that this is what makes this, this whole series, while you're thinking, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of fluff the ear for a minute makes this whole series great is because like if this was like I, I don't know just some other we, we knew we knew this wasn't gonna be easy exactly. no no this that's is, why, this is but that's why we did it though right that's why like it, it's it's almost painful that I had to pick one or the other for my last one because it, it, it's okay. they're both great amazing titles this console is just such a has such a special place in our hearts especially mine I think The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is Probably to this day, even with Breath of the Wild out there, just my favorite Zelda game. I really like it. It's concise, um, but I do think that Chrono Trigger is probably my vote because, oh God, dude, I'm talking, I'm talking like the most slim of margins. But I just feel like you're gonna get a lot more from an emotional standpoint. Yeah, like if we're talking about the the Red Dead Redemptions and the Outer Wilds and the like the games that just have a special little thing that cuddle up, cuddles up in your your heart and explodes out of it like a cosmic parasite. Eh, you like that? You like that? Uh, Lavos. Ah. Anyway, uh, got it. I, it. This game just does some really special. <laughs> Like, what other game can you say? I don't know who the main character is. Because right. all of them, any one of these could be, I mean, I'm on Team Frog. I think Frog is the main character. That's just me. It's pretty dope. But it's up to your interpretation because you can finish the game without. I mean, it's, it's listed as the main character. They're basically Game of Thrones in it before Game of Thrones. I think that. Before the book was even written. Yeah. I think know? Legend of Zelda Link to the Past has some really awesome cinematic parts. I love. When you first get thrown into the dark world. I love when you draw the Master Sword out of the pedestal and the, the forest clears. I love those moments, but they're so far and few in between. Whereas with Chrono Trigger, there's always something really special happening. Like you, It's like you can't go an hour of gameplay without something really cool happening that you just think to yourself, wow, that was really clever. Um, or even just making you think really critically about time travel. Even though, like... I said before they don't really take it super seriously, but um, how they utilize that for for um, for quests and stuff, which uh, Ocarina of Time ended up doing, but they didn't really have a lot of like change, like apart from like two parts and Link to the Past, they didn't have a whole lot of like do this in the dark world and it changes this in the light world or vice versa. There's like a couple parts, but not a whole lot, like draining the water in the dungeon. Uh, to get in, in the like you drain it in the light world and you go to the dark world and you can actually mm -hmm. get in. Um, but I, I really can't, I, unless I'm misremembering, I don't remember a whole lot of moments like that. Whereas with Chrono Trigger, there's just, it gives you so many different <coughs> reasons to go to so many different places oh, with different combination of characters and blah, 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 whatever. I picked Chrono Trigger. Uh, shut up, Brandon. Jacob? side factor. These aren't even, these games aren't even, uh, mm. now, but then now you know the pain. Yeah. You know my pain. I, I have to go at Link to the Past. I'll just say it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be around the bush. I just think, like, this You is, see what we do to, to get these? I mean, listen to Jacob's voice. He sounds I, so defeated. I think, 
No, 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 no. I just think that like you know, this game exists in the in the in the Hall of Fame, fame for a reason, and we're doing a a series on the Super Nintendo, and there are games that come out in modern times. Don't don't even come close to this. I know. And these games Without remain. Without doubt. It, with in a cave with a box of scraps. <laughs> Tony Stark did it in a cave with a box. Yeah, it, it's it's tough because of that because it's. I just think it, 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 it comes down for me out of hearing all the things said, hearing the story, the party members, that this game does, that I didn't resonate with, with Final Fantasy, and and it's something that, that was special for me with these party members, and, and kind of was put in my subconscious, because I quit doing JRPGs, I'm, 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 I know we're all running along, but... Um, this can be a long one. It's okay. But but when like I when I rekindled that flame with learning how to love J RPGs again, like it, it started here because the, my love of RPGs is the, the magic and the fantasy and the fighting, but it's also the party members, and and that came from this game. But Dead Gum Legend of Zelda is Dead Gum is just iconic. It is, it is a celebrated game that I can't, I can't, and I, I hate it because I want to vote as a bias this against Zelda, but because of everything that's been stated from Steve, everything you've stated, and everything that everyone on the internet out there knows about Link to the Past. Like, Link to the Past is just one of the most iconic games of all time. Guys, this one was really hard. And <laughs> it, has to, it has to take the win. It has to. It, 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 it has to. It has Man, to be. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I just want to go cry. Yeah. Zelda wins again and heads to the semifinals. Let us know in the comments down below how you feel about these two phenomenal games and help us reach 200 subscribers by leaving a like and clicking that subscribe button. I'm gonna go cry in the corner now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.